Welcome to another lab session. I'm Abir from Skillcurm and in this lab you will learn about step functions along with the hands-on lab session. You can use AWS step functions to coordinate your workflows. You can define your workflow in the form of state machine. Step function visualizes your workflow including the task performed in sequence or in parallel branching. Here we're going to start our state with hello with a type pass and it follows to next which is the world state and then the state machine ends. Let's implement a hands-on lab on step functions. This is a solution diagram which is showing all the AWS components we will be using to complete our project of AWS step function. First, we will be creating two Lambda functions where we will store our process transaction which are process purchase and process refund. An input event will trigger the Lambda function accordingly we will then create an IAM role where we will have the Lambda policy attached. In the end, we will create a step function and execute it with different inputs to see the results. Let's implement this lab together. What you see here is an AWS management console where I will be clicking on Lambda. So let's get started. Go ahead and create a function. We will be creating our function author from scratch. So select that and then we are going to name our function as skill curve process purchase. Next, we are going to select Python 3.9 as our runtime. Leave the default settings as is and click on create function. Go on to the code section. Here, I'm going to paste a snippet of a simple code. Here, we are importing all the important libraries which we will be using. Then we will create a Lambda handler name as process purchase and then print a log input message. And then we create a response object telling the type of transaction. We will simply print a timestamp to know the time the function was triggered and then a simple message to know the process type, which was purchase in this case. After writing your code, you need to scroll down to the runtime section and click on edit option. Here we will change the Lambda handler to process underscore purchase since that is what we named our Lambda function as. Next, just simply click on deploy here. And then go back to Lambda functions here. Click on create and then in the exact same way, we need to create a process refund Lambda function. The only difference here will be the name of the Lambda function and the message. I'm going to fast forward that and create a Lambda function. For both the Lambda functions, we will need our function ARN for future use. We are going to copy that from here and save it. I'm going to do the same for the other Lambda function too. Next, we have to go to IAM console. And this is how it looks. Both AWS Lambda and AWS Step Functions can execute code and access AWS resources. To maintain security, you must grant Lambda and Step Function access to these resources. Step Functions require you to assign IAM role when you create a state machine. So let's go on and create one. Now we're going to create a role. And then in the use case section, we are going to search Step Function and then we have to select that. Click on next. In the permission policy section, you will be able to see AWS Lambda role policy attached to it. Now click on next. Here we'll name it as step function Lambda. Now we are gonna scroll down and click on create role. Here you will be able to see the role you have created. Type in step functions from the search bar. And this is how the AWS step functions console looks like. 
click on state machine we will be creating the step function with our own code so we will need to define that by selecting write your own workflow in the code now scroll down and in the definition we will provide the snippet of code to invoke the lambda function make sure to provide the arn to the particular response that we have copied before from lambda functions here we are starting our state machine with process transaction and our type is choice which is basically the input event which will invoke our particular lambda function then we have two variables where we are passing the strings as purchase and refund next we will give the resource to it which is the arn of the lambda which we have copied from the lambda functions after creating them on the right hand side you can see the data flow of our state machine when the step function is started you will land on the process transaction according to our input event it will either go to process purchase or process refund and then the state machine will end now we click on next name your state machine here we name the default name which is the my state machine in the permission section choose an existing role which we have created earlier naming step function lambda scroll down and click on create state machine next click on start execution and here we'll type the input as transaction type and then pass it to purchase now we're going to name this execution as purchase type and then click on start execution here you will be able to see the graph inspector and you will be able to see the step input and the step output of each function. Now if you go on to our process purchase state, our input event was purchase, the process transaction was process purchase, the step output will be the one that we defined in our lambda function which is the transaction type, time, stamp and the message. Let's try another execution. We click on new execution and now we define our transaction type as refund. And now we'll name it as refund type. Click on start execution. Here we can see that our transaction is now refund. Our input event was refund. The process transaction was process refund. The step output will be the one that we defined in our lambda function, which is the transaction type, time, stamp, and message. This completes our lab. I hope that this video was beneficial for you in understanding some basics of step function implementation on the AWS Cloud Platform. Please feel free to leave a comment if you have any question about this project. Thanks for watching.